Kicking us off this evening, we have Leland Crudders. Leland is a multimedia artist who works across creative writing, photography, and film. They produce work to share their voice and uplift the voices of others in minority groups. The aim of their work is to make people feel less alone. Please welcome Leland and their piece, Gender and Sex, to the stage. We as a collective are constantly trying to figure out who we are and why we are that way. This constant search is difficult for anyone, but it's especially difficult when you feel like your body isn't your own. Like the one vessel you truly own isn't yours. I have never felt like my body was my own. I have never felt fit into the conventional definitions of masculine or feminine. I don't remember anything from my childhood, but apparently I was a happy-go-lucky kid who loved to play with Hot Wheels and G.I. Joe. This would be normal if I was born a boy, but I wasn't. This trend continued in later years. In my early teens, I went through a rap phase and would dress in baggy pants and oversized rap jerseys. I thought I was the coolest kid in school, and even Nick, one of my friends, told me so, thus affirming my cool kid status. I acted differently and dressed differently to my prescribed gender, but nobody made me feel different. I was just another kid. Then I remember going to camp in high school, being segregated into the girls' cabin. I felt so out of place. I was friends with some of the other girls, so I should have been okay, but I wasn't. It felt as though somebody had sorted me into the wrong group. It didn't feel right. This feeling of abnormality continued through puberty. When my breasts came in, I felt detached from them, like they were not mine, like they did not belong there. By this point, I was getting snickers and stares for how I dressed, so I began to dress feminine. But it always felt like a necessity rather than something I wanted to do. It made me feel included. It made me feel included, and when you were that age, or any age for that matter, all you want to feel is included. I never felt feminine. I was never into makeup or dresses, but I was and still am a really caring and emotional person. I also never felt wholly masculine either. I like to dress like a boy, but I wasn't tough or aggressive. I know these are just stereotypes of genders. A man can be emotional and woman can be tough, but conventional gender assumptions still exist. They still exist to me, at least in my head. So I finally dropped the whole conventional binary gender hat on me and adopted the identity of non-binary. Non-binary envy simply means that somebody doesn't fit solely into the traditional stereotype of masculine or feminine. They don't feel, feel like a man or a woman. I don't feel like a man or a woman. I initially felt bad adopting the label because I thought I shouldn't be fighting, shouldn't I be fighting against the stereotypes of femininity or masculinity? that I should be redefining what it means to be gendered a boy or a girl. And I guess I still feel this way. I guess I just needed a word for the way that I felt. However, this was not the right fit for me. I didn't quite feel whole. I felt, like the outs I felt outside of the binary gender spectrum, but I still felt dysphoric when I looked at my boobs and felt like I had an appendage missing. This was confusing until I realized you could adopt the identity of non-binary and trans. I could be a man and feel good about my body, still dress and act between the gender spectrum. It took me a long time to figure out my identity, mainly because I didn't know what my options were. I didn't know being trans and non-binary was an option because I didn't meet anyone in these communities until I was 25. Even then, I didn't feel like it was a viable option because the couple of people I met seemed to be shrouded in shame. I did see representations in the media, which are few and far between, and those that were there were the butt of the joke. A kid can't know what to grow up into if they don't have any role models. I couldn't grow into the person I was meant to be without somebody to look up to. It's not been an easy journey getting to this point. There has been a lot of cognitive dissonance. I was told that trans people were freaks and against God. Now I'm a very religious person, so I took this to heart. I couldn't recognize, couldn't reconcile who I was and what I believed. I thought that God gave me my body and I should be grateful for that. I don't know why I, what finally gave me the courage, but one day I decided to talk to my spiritual advisor about it. 
she advised me there is nothing in the Bible that says being trans is wrong and that God probably gave me this body so I could have experiences as a woman and thus be a better man. That put me at ease and gave me the courage to finally be the person I wanted to be. I wish I could wrap this up by saying I'm now a man and I'm now happy, but I can't. I'm two out of three appointments through approvals for testosterone and over a year away from top surgery. I want to be excited because finally my interior will match my exterior, but honestly, I'm petrified. I'm scared of the pain of the surgeries. I'm scared something could go wrong. I'm scared to be harassed by people in the street and the way that society will judge me. I already get harassed by people in the street sometimes, yelling at me that I'm a fat dyke. I frequently see people laugh at me. I know I shouldn't worry, but the more I hear and see, the more I believe I'm not part of society. I'm an other. I don't belong. It's easy to say who wants to, be who wants to belong, but everyone wants to tie themselves to something. Anyway, this is just the beginning of a longer and greater self story of self-discovery. I am not my fears and will not let my fears hold me back, but they still keep me up at night.